Good morning, everybody. Today, I want to welcome you to the Casino Royale Excel Edition, Topic 6, DQ1. We're talking today about rolling dice. All right, we're going to do two different experiments. One is with rolling 1,000, and one is with rolling 4,000. And then our goal is to see what the deviation is for each of those experiments, and then compare down here in the blue box, compare what happens or what is the difference between the roll of 1,000 and the roll of 4,000. And I will show you along the way that you can change all these easily with a couple of adjustments as we're going through this, okay? So you can have some fun. You can do it more than one time very quickly and with very little effort. All right, so first of all, first thing, as always, everybody, stake your claim, put your name here. All right, let's go. All right, next, you can see there's a number of sides here. You need to choose a number between eight and 15, okay? You can choose anything from 15 to eight. You don't really wanna go less than eight in this example. We could, but you don't really want to. So first of all, choose that number of sides. Next, notice that we have formulas for you already in column C and D. This is a random number generator, meaning that your numbers are going to change and everybody's are going to be different, okay? So don't be worried. If you hit enter throughout this process, your numbers will change. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that your formulas are correct. All right, so we want to, first of all, get a number of rolls down to 1,000 for column C, down to 4,000 for column D. All right, next, we're going to calculate a couple of things. What are we going to calculate? Empirical probability. Empirical probability means probability from a or an experiment, something that you actually did. You carried this out. You had an experiment. You looked at the probability to see what it was. And we want to compare that to theoretical probability. Theoretical probability says this is what the outcome should be in theory. And as you, you will note as we go, the more times you roll, the closer the empirical probability should become to the theoretical probability. So if we did it an infinite number of rolls, we should approach the theoretical probability, okay? That's what we're saying. And then the deviation formulas that is in column I, that will just populate automatically. That formula is there for you, okay? So let's get started. First of all, what are we going to do? We're going to go to column A, cell 7, and we're going to type our formula. We're going to type equals counts. You guys have done this one before, so this is like an old friend. And C colon C. All right, C colon C, close parentheses. Hit enter. And you can see it counted one, right? It showed up red. It's counted one because why? Because I actually have only one roll in that table. So here's the next thing you want to do. You don't want to copy and paste this a thousand times, right? You don't want to do that. And you can see it's locked, so it's not going to shift down unless I go down here and grab this and pull it down, okay? And just pull and let it roll. Sit back. Relax. Take a sip of your coffee and watch it go, right? As it goes, we're going to drag it all the way down till we get 1,000. Don't count the rows on the outside. That's the Excel row. You're counting the number of rolls of the die, and that is right beside the gold cell. You can see I'm down in the 400s right now, okay? So just keep holding that left button down and just relax. It will be done in a moment. Now, I'm saving the 4,000 for you. I'm going to let you guys do that on your own, okay? Yeah, I know. I know. I'm doing the easy part. I got you. All right. We're getting there. We're patient. We're watching it roll by. 
Anybody got a favorite song? All right, we're in the 900s, everybody. We're moving on. Okay, we're almost there. All right, now I'm going to move mine back up to include 1,000, release, and you'll see the cells all populate. I'm going to go back into the right-hand side to the slider and go swiftly back up to the top. Voila, exactly what I wanted, 1,000 rolls, okay? And now, everybody, you can also see that my frequency formulas have populated automatically. And notice it only goes down to 11 because I put 11 here, okay? If I put 12, just watch, if I put 12 here, it's going to go down to 12, okay? Automatically does it. So you can change this easily by yourself. I'm going to go back to 11, and you'll see it change again, right? All my numbers change. The formulas in column G change as well, okay? Now I want to calculate the empirical probability, and that is in column H, all right? So probability is the number of outcomes divided by the possible number of outcomes. This says 90, I'm sorry, it says that one showed up 94 times. Okay, 94 times out of how many? A thousand. What's the percentage? Okay, that's the empirical probability. So I'm going to type equals, click on the cell right to the left of it. That is G4 and divide by the total number of possible outcomes. We just did that in A7. And now everybody go ahead and lock that bad boy in. All right, go ahead and lock it in. By what? By the dollar sign between the A and the seven, okay? Now I've locked that in, meaning what? It's not gonna shift down. But the values in G, column G, are going to shift down, and I'm gonna be able then to compute the probability for each of those numbers, one through 11, okay? So there I go. Now you guys know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna copy this down by just dragging, grabbing the lower right-hand side, and there I go, right? There I am. I've got it. Now, once again, if I wanted to change numbers here, okay, if I put 10 in here, if I put 10, I would now see zero here at 11, so I would delete that formula, right? I don't want it. Also, if I put 12, if I put 12 over here, you can see I need to go down two more, okay? So I would just copy this down two more. Don't go beyond the number that you put in cell A4. Don't go above or beyond, okay? Make sure it's the same. I'm gonna stick at 12, okay, for right now. Now, I wanna do the theoretical probability. Theoretical probability says that one should show up one twelfth of the time, okay? One twelfth of the time. So theoretical probability says I should have one divided by the number of rolls or the number of sides, possibilities, right, of my die. So A4, I'm going to go ahead and lock this guy in, lock it in, all right? So I can copy and paste this down. And you see that your calculation in column J showed up automatically, and it says the difference is 0 0.0103, okay? So obviously, the theoretical probability is a 0 0.0833, the empirical probability is 0 0.0730. Let's go ahead and copy this down. All right, and we've got it. And you can see all the different deviations. And yes, they change all the time, everybody. Every time you make a change with the cells, the outcome changes because of the random number generator in column C, okay? Don't stress it, it's okay. It's nothing we control, okay? Now we want to find the average deviation, everybody. We're going to use the formula exactly as it says. We want to find the average, or that is the mathematical uh, mean here. So we're going to use average. All right, and then as you guys know, all we got to do is highlight these and close parentheses, and we're done. All right, what did I forget? Oh, I forgot to spell correctly. I know you guys don't ever do that. I'm the only one that ever spells incorrectly. So here we go.
And it says the average deviation, the average of all of these is 0 0.0049. All right. Now, everybody, I have taken care of the top table. I want you to complete the second table. I know, I know, I did the smaller rolls, but you got this. What are you going to do? You're going to do the exact same process I just did, except for this time you're going to go to cell A10, and you're going to count the number of rolls in column D, okay? The number of rolls in column D. What did I type up here? Count, C colon C. What are you going to type in here? You know, count D colon D. And then just duplicate the formulas you used up here. All the difference is right up here, I used A7. You're going to use A10 down here in the second table. All right. The theoretical probability is exactly the same, right? Exactly. So you can just copy that formula down. All right. The average is also the same formula. You can copy that one down. And don't forget, please don't forget, when you're done, go over here, take a minute, and give a response. A response to what? All right. A response to how do the deviations compare between 1,000 and 4,000 rolls? And what do you think would happen if we kept rolling more often? We mentioned that earlier, right, everybody? So you guys got that? Have some fun. Just mess around with it, right? Change the number of sides. But remember, if you change the number of sides, change the number in your tables as well. You got to add or decrease, whatever it is, the number of rows there in your table like I showed you earlier. All right, everybody, have some fun, and I will see you in the forums. Take care. Bye.